All right, welcome back, viewers, to Let's Play um, Final Fantasy X. Yes, that that's <laughs> that's what it's called. All right, so I am trying something a little bit different. I'm trying to uh, basically what I'm trying to do here is. Uh, basically stream what I'm recording. Syncing up the audio was a massive pain in the ass. If I can stream it, upload it to YouTube under private, download it, cut it up, and basically do that, it'd be a hell of a lot easier than what I'm currently doing. Here comes one now. Really? Hey, why don't you try out that sword I gave you? Okay. No problem. Really? Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. Your mom might make a good guardian someday. And then there's a flyer. A flyer? My kind of customer. Yep, 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 yep. And, quick thing here, when you go into your menu, as you can see, we've now got four party members. Waka, Titus, Yuna, and Lulu. They all start off with their basic stuff. Lulu is the black mage of the game, so she starts off with basic elemental spells. Yuna is the white mage slash summoner of the game, so she starts off with white magic and a summon, and Waka, well... Waka's just Waka. Hey, I don't want to get a popcorn kernel stuck in my tooth. Get out of my tooth. And then there's a flan. These guys, later on, are going to be a major pain. When it comes to the arena, you need to capture 10 of every creature that is catch bleh, capturable. And flans are made kind of interesting. You can't beat them down. You gotta use magic of an element they don't like. Magic? Element? Let's have our flat made. Show you what I mean. You, you're up. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elemental affinities. Fire beams. And ice beams are weak against fire magic. But what about lightning and thunder? Oh, Ow! Drop my controller. Ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. There we go, got it. Which means, if it's a water theme, fiend, we should use thunder. However, something people don't realize? Let's try using fire on it first. Uh, that was a bad example. This one's a water fiend, so fire and ice aren't very effective. Yes. With the lesson, Lou. If... Let's get this over with, yeah? That, that right there, if you end up using the wrong type of magic against this enemy, you'll get that extra cutscene. Not a lot of people know this, because they actually just go for the super effective typing. So, since it was a Water Fiend, we had to use Lightning to deal extra damage to it, and we gained a Mana Sphere. Certain enemies will have a higher chance of dropping certain types of spheres. Dog-type enemies, the ones that Titus killed in the beginning, those will usually drop speed spheres. Uh, the flying-type enemies, if I remember right, will usually drop speed spheres as well. Flan and magic-type enemies obviously will drop magic spheres or mana spheres more often. Just something to keep in mind. Take your time.
Let's get going, man. We're gonna wait. Huh? All right. You ready? <laughs> Are you ready for some football? What's going on? I think it's time for some drunken sex parties. It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. Now, this will actually determine the next boss fight. This, you, you fight the same boss, it doesn't matter which one you choose, you'll always fight the same exact boss. However, if you choose to pray, if I remember right, the next boss will actually be slightly weaker and easier to kill. Overall, it really doesn't matter because the next boss is fairly easy. But still. Let's do it. it. It's such a negligible difference that it doesn't even matter. Alright, so let's go on and make a save. Since I've already picked up all of the extra Albed primers, may as well go on and save over the first file. Albed, Kilika, and Beaconel. Something, something, something. Once again, I'll have that translated in the post edit. Kimari. Let's do this, brah. Have at thee. Nice dreadlock. And so we meet Kimari. Really, all you're going to want to do is just hack away at him. Not much else you can do. Sure, you can use cheer. Jump, this is going to hurt. Which gives us our overdrive. Got it. Now, everybody does have multi- Oh, wow, I got overkill. <laughs> That's enough. Uh, what's with that guy? Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. Really? He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. He's another unit guardian. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kamari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. So... Because we overkilled him, we got four ability spheres. Normally, you would only get two ability spheres from this battle. But because of the overkill, we got four and a new weapon for Waka there, the Scout. Let's go on and equip it, because... Sensor. Sen this is a great chance to talk about abilities. Which also reminds me, I should probably equip the Wisdom Rod. Now... Weapons and armor can have abilities on them. Sensor will allow you to see your enemy's HP without having to use the scan magic on it. As you can see with uh, Yuna's wand here, magic plus 5% and magic plus 3%. This will increase her magic total by 8% which for the first portion of the game until you get the ability to put abilities on weapons yourself, that's going to be pretty damn useful. With Cla- sorry, Titus's Brotherhood, 
It's got strength plus 5%. Later on... This is one of the few exceptions where a weapon will evolve. The Brotherhood will later on also gain extra strength increasing, I believe, strength in or strength plus 10, 5 and 3% along with water strike. So, yeah, Brotherhood for a while will actually be a very beautiful weapon, but if you feel like it, you could switch back to the first weapon of the game, the longsword. I don't know why you would, but you could. And of course, Lulu doesn't have anything special, so fuck her. Hey, you know what? I'd fuck her. Would you, viewers? I just love the fucking music in this game. It's awesome. And then we get a zoo. A flyer. That's your department, right? Cool, but, uh, why don't we let our summoner show us what she's made of? So, now it talks about switching members during battle. During battle, unlike a lot of the other Final Fantasy games, you can actually swap members out. Which means we can bring in, uh, Yuna. Show us what your training Summoning Aeons! At the moment, all we can do is summon. So, let's bring out Valfor. Or Valfor. I like calling it Valfor. How you doing, baby? Now... Because this is the first battle with Yuna, you cannot dismiss. The, uh... There's a bit of a thing with Final Fantasy X. Because you could swap out your allies, you can basically get everybody in the same battle. And they will all gain experience. And you don't take a XP hit if you bring in another person. For now, I'm just going to want to keep spamming Sonic Wing. The, uh, Gardua here does have 1400 health, so that's always fun in games. I want to get it down to one hit left, though. So, should be three more. Now, there's a reason why I want to do it this way. I want to get it down to a certain health, then... Okay, it's the last one. Okay, now that I've got it down to a certain health, it'll use a Sonic Boom. Nope, I want to use Boost. Shield, you will take less damage, but the Overdrive won't charge. However, if you use Boost, you'll take more damage and the Overdrive will charge faster. Before leaving Beaconel Island, I want to have Valfor's Limit Break charged up. Which usually by this point will take you know, two, lo two rounds of charging, or boosting. Come on, boost. There we go. And then the Gardua is dead. I didn't get the overkill on it, but oh well. Gigantic flying enemies will usually drop power spheres. We also picked up the Warrior's Sword. The item drops in this first section of the game are, if I remember right, guaranteed to always be the same. You picked up the Warrior Sword, don't know why we would equip it, because it's only got 3% strength increase. Doesn't make sense. So let's continue onward. To adventure!
and then another one.